What's going on, y'all? How's everybody doing this morning? I'm doing great personally. I wanted to make this video about Michael. Is Michael a hero or a villain? I was Brittany has leaked a lot of information this week. Everyone knows it. About a final two with you, a final two with you, a final three with you. She has said a lot to a lot of people. I have one thing I would like to say. I was actually going to make this video expecting that he was still going to be in the house at this time but I said hey this is kind of a convenient time for me to talk about the person who I picked at the beginning of the season to win the season I said everything is lined up for him he went on the block early like Dan Giesling style and I was like this guy is really good he's really calculated he's he's nice at the games he's a lawyer he's very smart um, he aligned himself with the right people. I think that people don't think that there's any value in him having Brittany next to him, but I think that the value of Brittany next to him is that she was able to be the person who displayed all the emotions. She was the person who was able to take everything that they said in conversation and go around the house and have all these different conversations with everyone else and look like the crazy one because as much as they say that it helped Britney's game to get to this point and it did because she might not have gotten there without attaching herself to him it also hurt her game as well because now everything that she was saying and doing up to this point which was based around Michael and the things that Michael was saying looks like it was just a direct reflection of her and everybody is pinning all of that on her so you might be asking why i'm asking if michael is a hero or a villain or you might not without this kyle situation michael is viewed as the hero period you know he's a nice guy he seems like a genuine good-hearted guy you know, he, he stood up for Taylor to an extent when nobody else really was for the most part. Um, he's a good representation for the LBGTQ community. There's nothing really that showed that there was anything obviously bad or wrong about him. So here's the thing about it. Michael is a super fan. Michael said he's been wanting to go on this show his whole life. He said that he ha has a special skill set just for Big Brother, which we saw on display. I think a part of the reason why he didn't win the game is because it may be if he had came on the show five years ago, six years ago even, when the social climate was a little bit different, he probably would have been more solely focused on winning versus perception. I think the, the way that he was thinking about how he was perceived is part of what shot him in the foot. Now with that being said, Michael's timing of when he shared the information about what Kyle said, premeditated, planned, calculated, you know, it was for a reason. It wasn't for a moral cause. It was for a game reason because we we saw on camera that after he actually said, after Kyle actually said those comments to him, Kyle came back to him the next day and said, hey, like, am I bugging here? Like, was this too much or... I feel like right. things are still the plan. Was I yeah. overreact? Was I overthinking things yesterday, do you think? Like, with what the, just, like, the situation with... The people remaining of the five oh. if we get rid of Alyssa and Dan? Um, I don't think so. I think it's definitely things to consider, and I'm glad that you voice those things, because, like, they're definitely things that I think about. And yeah. It's like, you never, like, it's always scary to I say know. things like that, because you're like, who's it going to get back to? But I hope, you know, like, obviously, I'm not going to say anything yeah. to any of them. Much it's, uh, or okay, am so I grasping at straws? And Michael was pretty much like, no, no, definitely not, man. And I thought about the same thing. I definitely thought about the same thing. But then to the cameras, he's talking about, oh, I don't see any connection with the Cookout 2.0. And then when he was talking to Alyssa, 
and telling Alyssa, and when him and Brittany were informing Alyssa about everything, he was like, I specifically came on the show and said, I hope that nobody tries to form an all white alliance. Even if it's like because looked like I was part it, like I just that's not the game that I came here to play and yeah. I even thought of it like with the success of the cookout last year, like that was really one of the things like, gosh, I hope there's no one who tries to like rally the white people together and then it just didn't even cross my mind, honestly. I, sh I probably should have. It did just didn't even cross my mind. It did not. It definitely did not cross my mind. And it was just like, I should have seen it come from like, the way it come, and he even said at one point, he was like, he started to say something. He's like, no, I can't say that. I'm going to get canceled if I say that. And I was God, like, I didn't know that. And I was just like, okay, like maybe it was just, I, I, I don't know. And it was just, yeah. I, and then I think the farther it went, the like, and I, I even feel guilty. It's like, what about me made you feel comfortable to have those conversations with me? Like, Alliance what was because of the cookout? Why didn't you say that stuff to Kyle when he was talking to you? That's my whole thing. It's not even necessarily about why didn't you say it to the whole house and have like a big house meeting. But it's like, if you felt so strongly that this was the wrong thing for Kyle to have said. Why didn't you say it to Kyle? And then there's the combination of him being upset for feeling like Kyle was lying to him and then saying, hey, Kyle, you messed with the wrong person. I've got dirt on you, Kyle. If I'm not gonna win this game, I'm taking you down with me. <laughs> There was him talking to Brittany prior to house split, or maybe it was during house split, and telling Brittany, okay, if he, if Kyle executes our plan that we all talked about together and gets Joseph out of here, I'm gonna now blame Kyle. And then um, if that doesn't work out, I'll reveal the stuff that he said about Cookout 2.0. I feel Brittany was a little less with it than Michael was to be honest with you but I feel like Michael she was like really sold on Michael as a person so when Michael was like yeah, yeah I think this is wrong this is totally wrong and we should definitely out it and it's definitely not game related I think with what was going on in her head she's like thinking to herself mm, I think that this could look like it's game related and I'm worried about that perception but I trust Michael, so I'm gonna go along with this, which was the, the Britney theme. Uh, I think that in order to win a Big Brother game, you have to be really more committed to the game than you are committed to your perception, than you are committed to um, the way that everybody else is looking at you the way that you're going to be looked at post show you know i've listened to a lot of winter circle with uh derek and cody and derek has kind of said you know for himself he was he was the master politician first of all he was in so many different situations but he was not really taking a t too much of a strong stance on anything and he said that was intentional that for him it was like if there was a big situation, like if there was a physical fight going down in his house or if there was something that was like really, really, really wrong, that there was something that you just had to say something about, he would. But for most situations, he would be like, you know what, this is kind of game. So I'm not really going to involve myself too much in that like they were talking about earlier the Taylor situation with Daniel um, Cody and Derek were talking about what they would have done if they were in that situation and I think Derek said something like I might have said I might have pulled him to the side you know outside of the group part of it and been like hey man that's not cool 
and also this could look a certain way for you when we get out of here you know so and that was a little aggressive and i think that you should probably apologize and then let that be what it is but he's like i wouldn't make some grandstand in front of everybody and be like hey man stop yelling at taylor that's so effed up not enough and i understand that i think that michael should have been more worried about playing the game than about how it looked because now we see a kind of a mistake i think that he made in promising turner like hey if you do this i am not going to punish you the next week by putting you on the block when i inevitably win hoh right so the thing is the best game move would have been to put turner up because turner and monty <laughs> one of them had a good chance of winning and they were both conspiring against him and he had to know that but i think that he was really worried about his perception but it's like you're not trying to be a politician you're trying to win a game now at that point in time i feel like you already were gonna look bad i think he didn't realize that but for me it was like you were already gonna look bad with the timing of when you revealed this kyle information so you might as well have fully committed to that paul role and just been like, I'm trying to win this game and let the, the jury votes go where they may. He still would have had a very good chance of winning depending on who he brought with him. Like if he brought, if he got there with Britney, I mean, that would have been really hard. But let's say he got there with Britney, he's a shoe in I think at the point of the game that he was in, I would have committed to uh, the villain role, I guess, or, you know, the role that I have to do in order to guarantee my best chances of winning at that game. But I think that he battled with that. I think he battled with his morals and how much he loved the game. And he did things that were not moral, honestly, in order to win the game. And he thought about those things and made other moves that he was trying to kind of make himself feel better about the previous moves that he had made. With that said, I don't think that Michael is a bad guy. I think Michael is a great guy. I might have said this before. I think he's a great representation for his community. Uh, I think, I hope that he gets an all-star shot. Uh, but I think that he needed to go. I think that, you know, as sad as it was, because I was enjoying watching him go out there, just beast all these competitions and win without having a strategy and having everybody scratching their heads and saying, how do we get rid of this guy? But at the same time, I think that this is a good time for him to reflect, to think about everything that he did within the game, to think. Brittany kept claiming your timing to expose Kyle wasn't about game and kept saying it was actually hurting your game, but exposing him did, you, did buy you another week. Do you agree that decision wasn't about game? No matter what decisions you make in this game, they're always going to affect the game. I don't agree that exposing Kyle bought us another week. Uh, at the point where we came forward with this information, I had already won the veto. Brittany and I were staying for another week. So at that point, exposing Kyle wasn't going to keep me safe that week. The veto was going to keep me safe. If anything, I did feel like this could hurt our game because i knew that people were going to be skeptical i and i completely understand that any information in this game is going to be viewed as okay but what's in it for you so i don't it would be stupid not to realize that sharing this information impacted the game that it had the opportunity to potentially benefit my game but i knew that you know i was safe for the week regardless this wasn't going to convince turner to not put me on the block because he couldn't put me on the block and that's why i felt more comfortable sharing because i was like hopefully people understand that i'm not gaining anything this week i'm not putting myself in you know saving myself by sharing this information if anything it could blow back and we did get some pushback on the information so I, I do agree with Brittany's analysis of the situation that, you know, this wasn't just about game. This wasn't about how do we save ourselves because we were already safe at that point. To think about this Kyle situation and the magnitude of what happened. I don't think, I feel like it was one of those things where he, he was thinking about it and he was thinking like, 
this is just a game thing where people are gonna be like, okay, he, uh, he he's got to get out of this house. But then seeing the reactions of like Monty, of Terrence, of Taylor, and even of Alyssa Turner, but mainly the people of color. You know, their reactions were strong, and they were they were crying, they were upset, and I don't think that he even thought of the big bomb that he was actually dropping on the house until he saw the aftermath of doing so. So I think that, you know, he's he has a lot to learn. There's a lot that he's gonna learn from that situation. So, like I said, good guy. I would say more hero than villain. And also, I'm looking forward to seeing when he gets into the jury house, cause man, look at how things happened. You know, Kyle goes in there and now Michael's gonna go in there right after him. So the conversations that are gonna be had, woo, that jury is hot. The jury might be more interesting at this point than what's going into the house, to keep it real. Yeah, but that's my synopsis. Let me know what you think. What do you think of Michael? Do you think that he made the best game moves? Do you think he was too messy with mixing game and personal? What do you think of his exit, I forgot to mention his exit and his speech, <laughs> his speech about Britney. Uh, what do you think about that? I personally feel like that speech, uh, it was kind of expected in a way. I mean, I know that people are like, yeah, that was his number one, but I think that Michael proved that he was more loyal to the game at the end of the day. I don't think he hates Britney. I don't think he hates the house guests. I just think that, you know, based on what he said to Julie and exit interviews that I've seen, he wanted to win the game no matter what. The game was bigger to him than any person and unfortunately any situation. He was willing to use anything in order to win the game and it didn't work out to him. It was to his detriment. Yeah, so let me, get, let me know your guys' thoughts. And as always, I want to thank you for watching. Uh, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the page if you haven't already. And have a great day.